Bitabula Bitabula sponsored links sponsored links promoted links promoted links. This toxic vegetable is the number one danger in your diet. Gundry MD Gundry MD Plastic Surgeon reveals. You can fill in wrinkles at home. Here's how Beverly Hills MD Beverly Hills MD Donald Trump loved darkest hours so much he wants a private tour of Churchill's war rooms when he comes to the UK for a state visit. The U.S. president enthusiastically recommended the Oscar-nominated film to Theresa May when the pair spoke on the phone in December. Advertising Ian Red invented by Teeds and his appreciation of the wartime drama is such that helps reportedly very keen to personally visit the underground bunker where Churchill formulated his Second World War strategy. According to the Sunday Times, President Trump's state visit has been penciled in for October 5 to 8 this year. The paper reports a Whitehall source saying it is plausible that a visit to the cabinet war rooms will be included in the itinerary. He also reportedly told Mrs. May she could become this generation's Churchill during the phone call. Trump is quite the fan of the legendary Tory Prime Minister. He made a very big deal out of returning a bust of Churchill to the White House which he claimed had been removed by President Barack Obama. In reality the bust had merely been moved from one room in the White House to another. The White House residence has had a bust of Churchill by British sculptor Sir Jacob Epstein since the 1960s, and it's never seen the inside of the Oval. When it was taken away for a refurb sometime around 2001, Tony Blair offered George W. Bush another similar bust by the same artist, as Alona. W. decided to keep it in the Oval. After four years, by which time the original bust had been returned, Mr. Bush decided he rather liked having a pair of them, and when we offered to extend the loan, he agreed. When any new president is elected, they have the opportunity to redecorate the Oval Office. Most do, and have been known to make quite drastic changes. As a matter of routine, the White House Curator's Office removes and returns all on loan artwork before the new president turns up. Obama didnt changed the desk or the rug. But he did choose his own artworks, just as Bush had eight years previously. A bust of Martin Luther King was introduced to the Oval Office, and the bust of Churchill was moved to a spot outside the treaty room in the President's residence. Right outside the door of the treaty room, so that I see it every day, including on weekends when I'm going into the office to watch a basketball game. The primary image I see is a bust of Winston Churchill, Obama said last year. It's there voluntarily because I can do anything on the second floor. I love the guy. Dinner with Defense Secretary Gavin Williamson to take place in the Churchill War Rooms was auctioned at the Conservative Party's Black and White Ball on Wednesday. It reportedly fetched £30,000 for party coffers.